hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl again luminous skincare if you're seeing this is for the first time hi i'm luminous and on this channel we film about skincare product reviews supplement reviews diys everything concerning skincare so if this is the kind of content you love to know about please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified each time once i drop a new video so today i'll be giving you a good recipe to make your own base cream at home yeah i'll be doing the practical of that i'll be putting you through step by step on how to make a base cream at home yourself so what that i'll do let's dive straight into today's video so guys welcome back to my channel yeah i'll be filming with one hand and at the same time i'll be recording with one hand so it's going to be a little stress you understand so you just have to manage this the way it comes please so this today like i said we'll be making a base cream like easily base cream is very easy to make all you have to do is follow the prescription and you get it very right so what we'll be needing is one two cups of our citric acid yes citric acid this is our citric acid we'll be needing two cups of our citric acid so i'll pour the one cup and um the back I'll pour one cup of our citric acid. I'm trying to measure it. Like I said, I'll be filming with one hand, so I won't be able to show you the process of you understand pouring it, but I will be showing you before pouring it into the measuring cup. So, like I said, I'll be pouring two cups of my citric acid. This is one cup of my citric acid. This is 250 ml. 250 ml is your one cup. This is one cup of my citric acid. I'll go ahead and add another one cup of my citric acid into this mixture. This is another one cup of my citric steric acid rather. Sorry, I made a mistake with that. It is steric acid, not citric acid please do not make that mistake it is steric acid not citric acid you'll be needing two cups of your citric acid i'm using two cups because i need a large batch of this stuff if you don't need a large batch you don't need to do this much because this is going to turn out to be very much if you don't need much you don't need to do this much so two cups of my citric steric acid like i said the next thing I'll be adding is my citric alcohol. I'll be adding half cup of my citric alcohol. Citric alcohol is a thickener. It is going to make this mixture really thick. And if you don't want, you really need it though. So if you need to mix it out, they don't need to add it. But I like to add my steric acid, I mean my citric alcohol for thickener. So I'll be adding half cup of my Citil alcohol into this mixture. So here I have my half cup of citil alcohol into the mixture. The next thing I'll be doing I have to do is adding my e wax. I'll be adding to this is the emulsifying wax. Yes, hope you know what e wax means. E wax is an emulsifying wax. This is going to let the oil and water we are going to have in this mixture be able to combine. So, like I said, we'll be, okay, we'll be having our oil phase and the water phase. This measurement is for the oil phase. You understand? This measurement is for the oil phase. Here I have my one cup of e-wax, emulsifying wax. I need two cups. This is one cup. So, I'll go ahead and add extra one cup of e-wax into this mixture. So in here, I have my two cups of emulsifying wax. You get two cups of emulsifying wax is what I have in here. So the next thing I will be adding to my mixture is my coconut oil because that is going to help us dissolve this product really fast. I'll be adding about 200 ml of my coconut oil into the mixture so i'll go ahead and measure then show it to you people i'll go ahead and measure then show it to you guys 
so in here i have my 200 ml of my coconut oil i'll have this into my mixture and this is all for the oil face so now after adding this i'll go ahead and melt this to dissolve then i'll also go ahead and heat my water to be on the same temperature with this oil and i'll be back so guys so guys i'm back yeah i'm finished dissolving the oil face and at the same time i have actually double boiled my water you can see so what we'll be doing now is i have 1600 ml of water here because i told you i'm doing much so if you're not doing much just minus it you understand 1600 ml of water is what i have here and i'll be pouring it inside of this oil yeah i'll be pouring all that inside of this oil as you can see yeah i just added all the water into the oil as you can see I just added all the water into the oil so then you're picking up i'm going to let it come for some time and after a while i'll be back with the result i get from this so stay tuned so then you take a little time to dilute just stay tuned as you can see it's beginning to form really well you can see don't mind the color showing on the phone it's not doing justice to the real color that i have here yeah it's not doing justice to the real color i have here so it is beginning to form so we just need to wait a little longer yeah as this thing cools down as the base cools down it's going to keep forming yeah this is going to keep forming until it cools down completely so we just have to let it cool already forming as you can see this is going to form a thick base but since it's still cooling down i'll go ahead and add i'll go ahead and add the next thing i'll be adding which is my glycerin i'll be adding 60 ml of my glycerin into this mixture so i have my i have my 50 ml 15 ml spoon here i have my 15 ml spoon here so i'll be adding 60 ml that is about four of this one two three and four that is my 60 ml of my glycerin so the next thing i'll be adding into this mixture is my glycolic acid i'll be adding 60 ml of my glycolic acid as well into this mixture yes i'll be adding 60 ml of my glycolic acid as well into this mixture so this is one spoon this is two spoon this is three spoon and this is four spoon of my glycolic acid so the end the next thing i'll be adding is my vitamin e oil i'll be adding 40 ml of my vitamin e oil into this mixture i'll be adding 40 ml of my vitamin e oil into this mixture it's really thick it's not coming out so i'll add 40 ml of my vitamin e oil this is 15 ml no coming out that's why it's taking me a long time to bring out this is also another 15 ml i'll be adding one last a little that is so i'll be adding the last one it's going to be very full to make it 40 ml of my vitamin e oil this is the last one 10 ml of my vitamin e oil so i'm going to add my preservative but because this is still very hot yeah i don't want to add the 
preservative because this is still very hot. I want it to cool down a little bit. Yeah, I want it to cool down a little bit before adding my preservative into this. You need your preservative. And that is basically how to make your own base cream. Meanwhile, don't go yet. I will go ahead and let this calm down and come back to show you guys what it finally looks like after cooling down. Yeah, so guys, I'll be back. So after mixing the base cream, this is what the final result turns out to be. Yeah, this is a really thick base. This is a really, really thick base. And this is why it is a base cream. It will be suitable for any kinds of lotion. Whitening lotion, lightening lotion, face cream, even emulsifying wax. You can use this base cream for emulsifying um, scrub. Yeah, emulsifying scrub. Yeah, you can use this base cream for emulsifying scrub. You can use this base cream for a lot of things. And this, mind you, this is just a base cream. Any product you make from this, if you don't make it the right way, any lightening product you make from this might not be active in whitening. You understand what I'm saying? It might not be active in whitening. We meaning before you use this base for a whitening lotion, you need to first make it an advanced base cream. You understand? You need to first make this base cream an advanced base cream before making it a whitening base cream. So if you'd like to learn how to make a base cream, an advanced base cream for whitening lotion, extreme whitening lotion, snow white lotion, you understand? If you want, if you'd like to know how to make your base cream advanced base so that it can be suitable to make a very good whitening lotion, then subscribe to my channel because that might be the next video I'll be adding on that channel. So thank you for watching my video. Thank you for sticking around. See you guys in my next video. So practically that is a, that is the simple way to make your own base cream at home. If this video has been helpful in one way or the other, kindly subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell. Meanwhile, before you go, I just dropped the recipe of the base cream. Yeah, that is how to make a base cream. But if you would love me to drop an advanced base cream yes that is to prom to make your organic base cream yourself and make it really active enough to lightening or whitening the skin or even to make a snow white lotion from a base cream if you'd love me to make an advanced base cream please subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell also give my video a thumbs up so i'll be able to drop the advanced base cream Thanks for watching my video. See you guys in my next video. Bye. Peace out.